So here we are with another edition of Swinging to Through India with Marty. Me today is Dimple Singh Kocher. Uh, she has a unique uh, story to tell. Uh, being an accomplished uh, madam golfer and a yoga t- teacher as well. So thank you ma'am for taking time out. So for someone who learned golf in Digboy that's a pretty exotic uh, location. So from there till here uh, in NCR just quickly your journey so far on the golf course. So uh, my family I think golf is uh, more than blood in our family my whole family plays golf. and i learned golf my father and mother both taught me golf along with our siblings and that's where the journey began i studied in a boarding school and i would come back and we would play all the tournaments in various clubs in assam and it was uh, just simply thrilling because a it was competition b you met so many people of you know so it was a, a wonderful experience and i think that's where the you know love for golf grew After that for many years didn't play golf college working etc mm-hmm. then i shifted to delhi in 2000 and that's when again when i saw golf was in such a big way in delhi the bug bit you again absolutely yes. and uh, so again my sister and me both we got into the amateur tour and we started playing in the amateur circuit and it was simply amazing to see the girls playing such good golf and it inspired you to you know improve your game yeah so played in the amateur circuit but i was just about you know getting into it and uh, then i you know got married and had children so again i had to take a sabbatical for 10 years but i was it was always a connection with golf because uh, my sister is a referee my brother is a professional golfer and a coach and my father and mother so it was like eat sleep drink golf and meanwhile i was um, i love yoga and i got into yoga in a big way i benefited so much from yoga that i wanted to teach yoga and that's when my journey with yoga began and i started teaching yoga after 10 years i decided to come back into golf and when i came back there was no looking back in fact i was playing better my swing was better i was more calm and uh, i think it was all thanks to my yoga practice that uh, you know i was i was very fit i thought i won't be able to play 18 holes but for us it was it was no problem so i got back into golf i had little time to dedicate to golf but whatever time i had I practiced my brother was my coach he taught me and I really improved my game then I got back into traveling for golf so as you know about the ladies circuit now it's a different scenario altogether we do have tournaments open tournaments in north and one or two in the south and so I decided to plunge into tournaments and uh, the first year was just experience and uh, my handicap being uh 10 between 10 and 12 i decided that you know i need to focus more on my game and so i started practicing seriously then last year which is 2022 i had my first win in bangalore at the kga and it was a thrilling win because uh, not because of the game but i think it was more my mental you know my mental disposition was so calm and on the last day i mean me and my uh, fellow competitor we were so neck to neck but i think it was because my of my nerves that i won so it was a big victory and uh, after that again i won uh, in december in uh, the army apta open ladies golf and uh, yeah it's uh, it's wonderful to be back playing competitive golf and i would definitely say golf has given so much to me that i really want to give back to golf in whatever way i can in fact there was a time where i was going to become the golf captain of the noida golf club i was the secretary but because of i got pregnant and i couldn't take over the you know but that is again also in my mind that i want to give back to golf by becoming a captain at the noida golf club in the future right 
So obviously now that you you have two wins in your bag, you are thirsting for more because that is what success does to you. You know, it keeps you motivated, wants you longing for more. So I guess that is where uh, Marty or the mid amateur tour of India will uh, hopefully make a difference, especially for the lady golfers, because as you just said, that there are opportunities, but very limited opportunities, and then each club will have its own rules so yeah, ha- different handicaps different yardages so there's no, it's not a level playing field so uh, do you, how do you think this uh, the mid amateur tour is going to make a difference especially for you know lady golfers and especially for someone like you who has to divide her time because yoga is there then your kids are growing up and as you said you focus only on playing serious golf it's not you know a, a regular four ball you just tee off and chit chat and come away so it's serious golf someone you do you think how do you think it's going to, you it will help you step up once you kind of play uh. it's a very very a positive direction for us because we were quite in despair since you know our tournaments were a uh, majority of the lady golfers are in the higher handi- handicap and uh, it is more of leisure for them but for us it's more about you know playing a competition and going by the rules you know everything should be followed just how it was during the amateur circuit days so i think it's an excellent opportunity for us and also the number of players will grow as right now there would be literally 10 to 12 maybe 15 players in our category in our handicap 0 to 12 you know so that number was just 15 in, in you know usually in the in 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 uh, some of the you know tournaments which we played it depends how many people travel so i would say not more than 20 okay. in 0 to 12 okay, right, yes right. so that number and this is we are not adding the juniors if we add the juniors then of course it's a yeah, playing most, field most. then we don't have an opportunity because they are already playing the amateur circuit they are playing their junior circuit so we don't have a chance with them so therefore in kg in fact they made a criteria that 16 years and below would not be playing therefore i got an opportunity to win you know so i think that is where your tour will help us exactly because exactly because you know uh, we trying to make this aspirational in the sense that as you just said i mean uh, the level of awareness among these kids is so much these days there's so much to read so much of video literature at their disposal uh, at their disposal then coaching techniques fitness uh, it's impossible virtually impossible for somebody say who's 35 40 to compete with 18 year old eating sleeping drinking golf i mean this is what the you know this is their regiment right, right. but for us it is we have already have another life so the golf is part of that life yes and we playing it because a we want to play competitive golf and we love golf yeah. so that's the reason so on a normal day how do you kind of divide your time uh, yoga golf and family so like i said golf is uh, thrice a week i would play uh practice more practice so i would practice for 2 hours probably play once in the in a week and yeah that's just about it the time given to golf on field and then i like reading books and i like seeing videos so i think that is another side of it and more than anything else my yoga practice daily yoga practice daily teaching I think that itself is uh, uh, keeps me Picks up most yeah of your time. not only my time but I think also in today's times we have to go through so many challenges in our lives so it helps you to keep you centered and I also encourage so many golfers lady golfers not only about mentally how to deal with them on the course but even health wise I mean of course there are women of so many you know 50 plus etc so I guide them you know how to to bring yoga into their life which will help them as you just said that that when and in kg your mental uh, outlook was probably what swung it your way uh, yes definitely i mean golf and especially serious golf competitive competitive golf it's all about how you kind of you know deal with self with yourself in the crunch situations 
any more memories from that week uh, uh, which is i i, I think is going to stay with you for a very very long time i think uh, yes i went with uh, i went with expectations that i'm going to play my best golf but i didn't know that i'm going to win i was very fortunate that i had a very good caddy which also helps a lot yes. because when you have a good caddy with a good temperament you know you have a good you're compatible that helped and yes before that i had really done a lot of practice i had sincerely been practicing so again hard work pays off so that mattered and yes i think the course is so amazing the greens are so true that you know i think it brings out the best in your game so yes uh, definitely it was uh, truly uh, memorable really really memorable <laughs> to play there as kg always had kind of good memories for you in the past before yes. before the before yes. the win yes in fact uh, uh, during our amateur days we used to have a, a match play all india match play yeah. vikramaditya cup and uh, i had gone for the first time that was my first match play and i was playing uh, with a fellow competitor and again you know i was in the semi finals and uh, she was a very good player but somehow again you know i think it was my temperament also and also i somehow was very relaxed playing there and uh, till the 18th hole we really went neck to neck and then of course you know i didn't win but it was still a victory for me you know because i could i fought with her till the 18th till hole yes. so yeah i think kga is a, a, a not only the course i think the people there are wonderful very very warm and hospitable so how did yoga happen to you i mean and now when you look back i'm sure that's uh, that's been a turning point in your life absolutely uh, so how did how so did I, i did my mba and i worked in the corporate world and which i just it was just not me so i i i quit then i started working with children i got an opportunity work with a company called i discover i where we would do uh, life skills and outdoor camps so uh, that's where i realized that you know i have the temperament to you know work with children understand them empathize with them so i think somewhere that helped and then just by you know by chance uh, yoga came into life very late i mean at the age of 22 okay. 22 23 but once it did come into our life my sister and me together we started doing it we started with ayengar yoga so with that i think that really really had a positive effect and i was so um uh, uh so amazed by yoga the practice hatha yoga then i got married my husband was practicing shivananda yoga so shivananda yoga is different from ayengar it's more meditative it's more about connection to god and after i got into shivananda that's that's where i actually started growing and i started teaching shivananda yoga and i wanted to do the teachers training course because that would add as a not only as a degree but to learn but my children were very small so you have to travel for 40 days to kerala but as you would have it during covid you know how things happen to you they started online teachers training course so i got an opportunity to sit at home and do the teachers training course and then for 10 days i had to go to kerala that changed my whole thinking about yoga not just being hot yoga i mean yoga is you know as we all know it is much more deeper so that opportunity i think really has changed and now i dedicate my life to yoga so ma'am a, a layman's question somebody with say aches and pains can he get into yoga of course that is when you have to get into yoga if you have joint pains if you have pain in your muscles if you have stiffness you have to stretch the body the body is craving to be healthy but we are not we think that by stretching we will give it pain it is when you stretch the body is when you are giving your spine which is your backbone which is your core you have to strengthen it everything starts from that so if you don't strengthen for golf if you don't have a strong back how do we swing you know later on you'll have a lower you'll have lower pain which a lot of golfers have hip problem 
so that's why it strengthens your each and every joint and muscle in your body and this is like you know once you get into it you'll get addicted to it and once you're addicted to it you'll never stop practicing and you will feel that the benefits it gives you is tenfold and you'll never grow old you know in the sense that your body will always be young yeah. well i'm not a golfer but this this is definitely something that i'll take note of yes, yes definitely so uh, ma'am thank you look forward to welcoming you on marty and uh, wishing you many more laurels and thank you for taking time out thank you so much for giving me this opportunity thank, thank you, you.